he was possessed and he was acting like he was possessed. Tonight only on Action News Jax, you will hear from a homeowner who shot a man who he says came right into his house. That homeowner was not arrested after the shooting. He did talk to police. Action News Jax Stephanie Bennett is live on Cedar Bay Road where neighbors say that naked man went on a rampage. And Steph, that homeowner told police he shot the intruder, but it was self-defense. Yeah, William Kerr told me today he was really just worried about his family's safety and his neighbor's safety. Now, take a look over here. This is the area he says he caught up to the man after that man broke into his house. Now, he says the man threatened him with a large stick, so that's when Kerr pointed his gun at the man's hand and shot him. William Kerr says the man in this surveillance video broke through the back door of his home. Kerr says his wife was also in the house when he came face to face with the stranger. I got the door open about a foot and I see this guy standing there and he's got my, I got a rifle, a BB rifle and he's standing there with the rifle like this, the butt facing me and he's fixing to clock me. So I quick slammed the door and I heard him messing with the other door in that room. So I'm thinking, oh man, Tina's out there in the car fixing to go. So I ran through the kitchen, grabbed a meat cleaver and went out the door. By the time I went out the door, he's already at the mailbox. Kerr says he followed the man down the street because he was worried for his neighbors. He waved police in the man's direction. He says he spotted the man who threatened him with a large stick, and that's when he opened fire. I had my gun, and I, 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 went, I tried to shoot him in his hands. I'm not sure where I hit him, but I tried to shoot him in his hands to get the stick out of his hands. About that time, a police officer drives down the street, you know, and I wave him down. I'm like, he's right here and um, he tried to run still. Police questioned Kerr but released him. I asked our law and safety expert Dale Carson about whether the homeowner might face charges. If you are in imminent fear of death or great bodily harm, you can probably defend yourself and claim self-defense. Carson says a self-defense argument can be difficult to prove. My advice would be don't follow people out of your house, call law enforcement, allow them to manage it. Because if you get involved, there's a possibility that you could ultimately be charged with manslaughter or even murder. And the Kurs say they wish the man would have just asked them for help, that they would have gladly given him the $400 that he stole. And police told us yesterday the man was in surgery tonight. We are still waiting on an update on his condition. For local coverage, you can count on in North Jacksonville, Stephanie Bennett, Action News Jax.